Hello you guys, it is your girl Eternal Femme and I am back with another reading for the sign of Aquarius. Summarizing Venus North Node or any, oh my goodness, sorry. Uh, Venus North Node or any of the heavy placements in your chart, please be sure to like the video for resonate. Comment down below if you felt that vibe and subscribe and if the reading don't resonate today, maybe next time. Welcome back to the channel you guys and welcome to those of you who are new. Let's see what spirit has for you. All right, you guys. Um, let's see. Sorry, somebody's calling me as soon as I got on here. I will say, Aquarius, um, your guides definitely want you to know that it's okay to make mistakes. Okay. It's okay to make mistakes just get back on track okay just get back on track all right um some of you guys when you make mistakes you kind of dwell on it or you beat yourself up for the mistakes that you do make um and it's important that you just get back on track follow through and surround yourself around people who are um going to give you constant reminders of why you are doing what you're doing like you know how people have personal trainers when they're like fitness and those trainers be on your ass sometimes you need people on your ass and it's not that you know they're trying to control your life or tell you what to do with your life but you need people who will encourage you and motivate you to be the best version of yourself and to constantly remind you of why you are making these changes and you're going to know the difference because people who continue to in, engage or, or um, enable your behavior or they kind of like pull you back in, like you're going to know the difference because one person is going to tell you, you put that drink to your mouth after you said you're done drinking and be like, remember why you stopped drinking? Remember what happened last week? Yeah. Remember that? That's why you stopped drinking. Okay. And you're going to know the difference because the other person is going to tell you, girl, it's just one drink. Like, who gives a fuck? It's just one drink. Okay? No, they're going to give you constant soft reminders. Like, Aquarius, now you said you wanted to lose that 50 pounds. And I see you over there eating six donuts. Okay? Now, you, I just saw you up there ordering that cocoa matcha. Uh, cancel that order. You need people in your life like that. They're not, tell, they're not controlling you. They're just giving you soft reminders of why you are making these changes. Not the ones who are gonna tell you it's okay. It is okay to make mistakes, but you don't need nobody enabling your mistakes and telling you it's okay to keep making those mistakes because you're just human, okay? So that's a message for somebody. Surround yourself around people who are supporting your goals, not your bad habits. I'm also getting as well, Aquarius. There's somebody around you who may have addictions. Just pray for them. Um, that's all you can do. Is just pray for them. This is one of those situations. So just pray for y'all people. Part messages, of course, for Aquarius Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We got the Page of Swords. I got temperance in reverse. And we have the high priestess in reverse. And we have the knight of cups. Bottom of the deck, you have the eight of coins in reverse. Yeah, you guys got have a critic or an inner critic, okay? Somebody could be criticizing you. Um, I definitely feel like with temperance in reverse and the high priestess in reverse, with those being the two majors here, there's like a need for balance or like some of you guys, maybe you haven't felt like you've been being yourself. Maybe you've been very irritated lately. Um, maybe you guys haven't really been able to see or this could be somebody else, but it's giving a vibe where you haven't really been able to see the bigger picture lately or, you know, it's a little bit of a like trying to get back to yourself. 
Maybe, like I said, you allowed your inner critic to get the best of you, but now you're finally getting back to who you were. Being a little more kind to yourself or being a little more patient with yourself. Um, because you could have got off track. You could have got distracted. Maybe you were celebrating a little bit. Three of Swords and maybe you were an emotional, okay? But whatever it was, I definitely feel like your guides are like, okay, it's time to get back. Get back to yourself. Um, and I had I wanted to use an example. Um, I had moved back to my hometown. And um, when I had moved back to my hometown, this was about a year or two ago, but I had moved back to my hometown and I was back kicking it and doing the things that I, I used to do because I was hanging around my family and friends again from my hometown. And I was like, yeah, let's start it up. And mid hangout, I was my mom, we always drinking and stuff. My mom pulled me to the side in the bathroom and she said, you know, I love you. And I, you're such a beautiful young lady, you know, but this is not the place for you. And she was like, and me and my mom really don't have a relationship, y'all. But she pulled me aside and said that. She said, it's not the place for you. This is not your thing. You know, it's okay. And and I started crying because she was just like, it's okay. You know, we're going to love you, but it's okay to go on with your life. You know, it's okay. You don't have to feel bad about leaving people behind. You know, you don't have to feel bad about moving forward in your life. You don't have to feel like you have to, you know, make other people feel comfortable because you've outgrown this environment and she gave me like a whole speech i was in there for like 20 minutes talking about this mid party <laughs> like and at first i thought she was just being you know drunk but like no i feel like it was like at that moment god used her to tell me that message and it's like i went out in that party and i just my mind was not the same no more because i have realized that I was trying to just make people feel comfortable because I didn't want people to look at me and feel like I was just thinking I was better than them because I just, I didn't drink or I didn't smoke or I didn't kick it at that time. But I was like, it's okay. It's a couple of drinks. Okay, Josiah, leave him alone, please. I was like, it's a couple of drinks. It doesn't matter. And they kind of said the same thing. Like, girl, loosen up, you know? And my mom pulled me aside. I was like, you don't have to, you don't got to do that. We still love you regardless. But she was just letting me know, well, I, I still love you regardless, you know? Uh, please shut that door. And I just want to use that example because sometimes, you know, we have to keep our head up. And there could be people in your ear and they could tell you, you know, you're being a snob or you're being too much or you're being too hard on yourself. But I don't feel like that you're being too hard on yourself. Some of you guys, you are. Some of you guys, you're over criticizing yourself. You're you're too hard. On yourself you could have you could have a really harsh inner critic but others of you guys i feel like you have a goal in mind and you just want to make sure that you stay on track but your guides do want you to know just get back on track it's okay to make mistakes just get back on track don't enable your behavior don't settle don't give up just get back on track yeah we got the Empress in reverse. Yeah. Some of you guys, you have a, a life of, you have a life in mind with the Nine of Cups. And you may be having some sort of creative blocks. You may go through moments where you're like, damn, what should I do next? But we have the death and the fool. Exactly. You've, something has changed for you. There is a, a permanent change or a transformation that has taken place. And I feel like with the full, this is you have like, I'm getting scratch paper. So some of y'all, maybe you had a plan for yourself. You had a life for yourself all written up, but maybe your life took a different path. You took a different path. And so your life looks totally different now on paper than it was before when you had your plans. So it doesn't mean that you dwell on that. It's like, okay, scratch that. Now I'm going to rewrite my story. Okay, or well, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the story out how I want it to end. Okay, because your life is not over. Life is not over because of that mistake you made. Life is not over because you took a different path. You may just be seeing it from a, a, a um, distorted perspective. You may just be feeling like it's over, or it's not, you know, or it's not possible. Or no, it's possible. Just get back on track, Aquarius. Yeah, because you're gonna be successful. Get back on track. Okay. Um, 
now you have to do it like this. Like, um, I didn't finish school, right? So now I have to go to school, take care of kids, and work <laughs> all at once. But the thing is that you take breaks, you're going to get tired, and week one, you may do great. And week two, you may be like, okay, I'm going to have to lay down because I'm on my ass. You know, know how to take breaks and know how to take days off. But as long as you are making progress, that's all that matters. Trying to rush to the finish line is going to drive you crazy because you may have expectations over yourself, over your life, and sometimes life gets the life in. Sometimes things happen, but don't let those things turn you or throw you into a spiral to where you're like, fuck it, scratch this whole thing. And then you just completely don't move, make no moves, or you go backwards, or you fall back into your old ways, or you backslide, okay? You need to... And I, it's crazy. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because Holy Spirit is bringing me to my son when he crossed the street. And he just crossed the street without, like, it was one of those situations, a car was coming from behind us, and he just ran. Like, didn't know, he didn't stop, look, nothing. He just ran. And I said, don't, never do that. If you don't know where the car is coming from, you just hear it coming, you stop, look. So you can know which way to run. Because say you run and the car is coming to the left of you. You run to the left side. You done got hit by the damn car. So I was just telling him like, stop, look, and then react. Take action. Okay? But you got to gotta be quick with it. But I feel like some of you guys, maybe it's time to just, when you go through these moments and you start feeling like you're spiraling or you start feeling like, oh, this is not worth it. You take a moment and you stop and you reanalyze. Like, I mean, you, you, re, you. You go over it. You analyze everything. You're like, okay. Because when you take those moments to stop and think, it allows you to see, wait a minute. I'm sitting here tripping over this moment, this thing right here. When I need to look back and realize I've came a long way. So to sit here and throw in the towel and say, fuck it or scratch it right now may not be the best thing for you. But for some of you guys, sometimes you're at a place in your life where it's like, yes, I need to rewrite my story or I need to finish this out and change the storyline. Whatever it is that you need to make, whatever change you need to make to fit your life, it's fine. But to just quit and give up or say it's not going to work or it's not possible, all that's going to do is keep you in your head stuck in the woulda, shoulda, couldas. Like they say, it's better you to try and fail to not try at all. So just try. See what works for you. If it doesn't work, try something new. Because whatever it is that you are doing, it's going to be successful. But I feel like you just need to figure out what works for you. Back to what I was saying with the schedule. Figuring out what works for you. I'm doing three different things at one time, but I have to figure out what works best for me. Okay? And the days that it don't, I'm, I'm taking my ass to sleep. I'm going to get my rest. Yeah, chariot. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. I feel like as well, like you're handling things, like you're handling it, you're managing it. Some of y'all, you like, you got a whole list of things that you got to do, but you're handling it, you're managing it. Some of y'all, you don't realize you're managing things a lot better than you really could have. Some of y'all, there's people in your shoes right now who are freaking throwing fits. Like there's people in your shoes right now who are using that as an excuse as to why they ain't picked up a pencil and a piece of paper. You see, it's, it's crazy every time I get these, these readings, the wind get to talking. Some of y'all, don't make this show excuse. Make this show motivation. Don't get to compare yourself and because it's a natural feeling to have jealousy. But what you do with that jealousy is what matters. Are you going to let it inspire you and motivate you? Are you going to let it cause you to be bitter and angry with your life and regretful and, you know? Ace of coins. There's opportunities coming into your life. You have a chance. Eight of swords in reverse. Get out your head. Get out your head. You got a chance. This is your moment. You got a chance, Aquarius. You have a chance. You have a fighting chance. It's better you try and fail than to not try it all. Yeah, Six of Cups is here. 
I feel like as well, like, you you have influence. I don't know if you guys have children, but you got people looking up to you. You got people who respect you. You got people who are clapping for you. Even if they're behind you, y'all. Some of y'all, you got hidden supporters too. Like people here who you don't even know that like they waiting at the finish line. <laughs> like I just know, of course, it's going to be successful. You got your guides waiting for you. They're, I mean, they're, they're not even waiting. They're on the side of you every step of the way. Like, you got this. You got this. You got this. Some of y'all, you get synchronicities throughout life. Some of y'all, it's crazy because I'm I'm already getting my chills in this reading. It's crazy because lately, it's like the synchronicities. I don't know if y'all been catching this, but the synchronicities have been, like, thick with it. Like, back to back to back to back to back to back. Like, every once in a while, you get a synchronicity here, a synchronicity sign there, a synchronicity and encounter there. Like, it's been back to back to back. Those are constant reminders from your guides. Like, you got this. Keep going. Because y'all are about to accomplish a goal that you, it, it, if you think about it, you're like, if I take a moment and stop and realize I've came so far, you, you don't realize, like, how close you are to accomplishing that goal because you get, it, it's getting thicker. That temptation is getting thicker. Those challenges, they may feel like they challenging, Okay. You may have moments where you're ready to cry, you have them blood, sweat, and tears, you tire, you ready to burn out. It's like how you working and you exercising and you it, it hurts, your body is aching, and you're like, I can't do this. I can't do this. But you do it again and you do it again and you push through and you you accomplish your goal. You hit that mark. It's crazy because I'm having a vision of somebody like finally crossing the uh, race, crossing the finish line and just falling to the ground crying. Like, thank you. I made it. That's going to be you, Aquarius. You are going to be so happy. You're going to be so... It's like giving birth to a child through all of that pain, through all of that. And then when they come out, you just cry. You're just like, oh my goodness. I love you. It's like that moment. Hey, so Wands, you got to find that passion again. You got to find that drive again, that motivation again and to do it. You're going to do it. You're going to get it. It's going to be done. It shall be done in your favor. Stay focused. Stay committed. Keep going. Three of Swords is in reverse. What's this Holy Spirit? Ten of Coins in reverse. Some of y'all, maybe you may have people. Maybe there's things in your past. Maybe you lost out on friends, family, people in your life who you thought was going to support you. But that's okay. Like that said in your last reading, this comes out again, which lets me know, like, People are not going to support you. People from your past ain't going to support you. And that's fine. Some of y'all, like I said, you're going to know the difference from who your true supporters are because they're not going to tell you it's okay to have one drink. They're going to tell you, no, remember why you stopped drinking. King of Cups in reverse could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in reverse. Or some of y'all, like I said, you may have a lot of emotions here that, that need to come up. I'm asking you as well, your guys keep telling y'all that in y'all readings to use that to fuel yourself. Like, if there is something that you are dealing with or emotions that you are dealing with deeply, allow yourself to feel and express or use those things to motivate you. It was something that Megan Estaya said recently. She said, what helped me lose my weight, even if people don't believe her, I'm not here for that. I'm about to give the message. What helps help me lose my weight it was that when I was going through my moments of like anxiety or fear or emotions, like I would just use um, exercising to escape. She said I would just put my energy and I would transmute it. And that's what you guys have to do with this energy. When you start feeling these emotions, you have to transmute it. You have to put it in your work exercise, those affirmations. You have to take that moment, those negative thoughts Take that moment to shift your perspective. Go straight into your affirmations, okay? If you get to feeling like I, I'm about to overeat, go straight into that damn exercise, okay? Get to doing some push-ups, just mid-conversation. Like, you're like, it don't matter if you out there, start running in circles. Even if you outside, you're not even at home, and you're like, ooh, that McDonald's sound right right now. I'm about to go hit me, uh-uh, get to running. <laughs> I don't care if people think you crazy. I don't care if they think you crazy, Aquarius. Get to running, honey. Get to running. Get to running. Run, okay? You got somewhere to be, all right? Get to running, running circles, okay? 
Call that life coach. Call that therapist. Whatever you need to do, get 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 some done. Call some, and if you feel like you need to call somebody who's going through those moments of emotions and doubts and fears, call that one person who you don't usually like to hear them run their mouth because they just be right. They be hitting right on the money. Call them anyway. I need you right now to tell me that I'm. I need some redirection right now. Put on that affirmation, that video of that person who's gonna tell you, hey. Get your shit together. Get it together. Okay. Y'all know it's them people. Y'all know y'all know y'all got them people in your life. And if you don't, baby, it's time to make some changes. Because it, it should always be that one person in your life who's gonna be like, I'm glad you called me. I don't care if it's your I was just about to say it. I don't care if it's your pastor. I don't care if it's a sir. I don't care if it's somebody who is gonna tell you. You can do it. Even if they get the praying in your ear, like, even if they get the speaking in tongues. <laughs> Listen, okay? Listen, okay? Even if you don't want to hear it. Listen. Because they're going to tell you you can do it. You're almost there. This is the finish line. You're almost there, Aquarius. The old you has died. Let it die. Faith. Keep your faith. Keep your head up. It's possible. Ask and it shall be done. Look, didn't believe in you. You better believe in yourself. Like I said in y'all the reading, if a person gonna wake up every day and knock you down, you better wake up every day to make sure you build yourself up. It's gonna be many people out there, jobs, places, everybody who tell you it's not possible, you can't do it, they gonna look at your circumstances. I'm sorry, hopefully that wasn't throughout the whole reading. That This lip gloss, I know that cheap lip gloss, I'm so sorry, if y'all seen that. Hopefully y'all was able to look besides that. But um, if, if people could take one look at you right now and see your circumstances, me as a single mother, because I'm a single mother now, I'm divorced. So me as a single mother, they're going to they gonna see me with these three kids, see me trying to go to school and work at the same time. They're going to be like, baby, I don't think it's possible. You're going to have to pick a struggle and stay there. There are going to be people who tell you you're not qualified or you're never going to find love in your life because ain't nobody going to want to deal with you and your package. You ain't got nothing to prove to these people. You need to prove it to yourself. You you deserve the life that you are giving yourself. You don't got to lose that weight because you're like, okay, well, I'm just trying to prove to them that I, it's possible. No, you need to prove it to yourself. This is the life that I want. I want a healthy life. I want to live a healthy lifestyle. I My body deserves this love that I am giving it. I deserve the life that I truly desire. No matter what my circumstances is, no matter where I came from, you need to believe in yourself. Look, insecure about looks, unstable environment. Some of y'all, you could be insecure about your looks right now. Maybe you don't feel the best. Maybe you don't feel like you have the best. Maybe you don't like where you live. Maybe you don't like what you have. Maybe you don't like where you work. Maybe you don't like how you look. Maybe you feel like you could change some things about yourself. Those are things that you can change. <laughs> you can change those things. Like they say, let go of what you can't change, like your past. You can't change your past, but what you can do is rewrite the future. Yeah, spiritual hater, that's what I'm getting. Like I said, you gonna know the difference. You gonna know the difference. People gonna tell you, put that drink down toward is the one who tell you to pick it up. You gonna know the difference. And I'm just using drink as an example. I'm not beating nobody who drink. If you drink, hey, I drink sometimes on weekends, my damn self. But I'm saying, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. Okay? Lead by example. Take your own advice. Yeah, you got revenge here, which lets me know you got people here who 
Like with the spiritual hater and the spite, they don't like you. They don't like you because of the changes that you're making. Okay? Some of y'all, like I said in a couple of readings back where I said that this time you're really doing it. This time you're staying committed. This time you really changed. This time you really stopped smoking. This time you really stopped doing that thing. This time you really cut that ex off. This time you cut that friend off. You're doing that shit. This time. This is the time. It don't matter if you said you was going to do it 15 times and you fell back into the 15 times. As long as you get back up 15 times, it's not a matter. Keep getting up. Keep trying. Keep doing it. Keep going. But this time, stay committed. This time, follow it through. Older man, older woman, a setup. We're going to leave that there. Somebody is an op, okay? They don't like you, okay? Yeah, you could be a medium or a psychic, or you could be somebody who's very intuitive, but they don't like that you're into spirituality. You have a new beginning, so y'all could have an older man or an older person in your life who is trying to set you up. They're angry at life because y'all see through them or your your uh, steps are orchestrated. So if somebody is trying to plot on you, you got protection. We have a partner. You have a partnership coming in or a relationship coming in here. Yeah, it says not the right time. So some of y'all, it could be a situation where, hey, maybe you guys are trying to put your focus towards love right now. Maybe you guys are looking for a partner. Maybe you're, and your guys may be saying you are manifesting something right now. Some of y'all, you're too busy trying to put the puzzles together. Maybe it's not time right now to be trying to, you know, date. Maybe you're trying to, and some of y'all, especially if you're trying to manifest a partner, a partner, maybe if you have a goal, we always say what we want out of a partnership or a relationship, but we have to make ourselves that person first. Like, you could sit here and say, I want somebody here who is reliable or stable or they're healthy or whatever the case is. But we have to make sure we are in alignment with the things that we desire. So if you want something that you desire, you need to make sure you are in alignment with those things. Doesn't mean that you have to be the richest or you have to look the best. But it's to say, like, if you want a partner who is healthy, make sure you are healthy. Okay. Make sure you are healthy. Make sure you are he making healthy decisions. Okay. You want somebody who don't drink or who don't smoke or who doesn't overindulge, okay, well, make sure you're not overindulging. You want somebody to spend time with you and take you out and get out of the house, make sure you're getting out and spending time with yourself and treating yourself. You just want to make sure that you are putting yourself in alignment with the ideal life that you have for yourself or that you want for yourself. If you want those things for yourself, don't sit here and say, I want a partner who has all of these qualities, but I'm not these things myself. You need to work on you first before you try to go be with somebody else. You have new opportunity and new beginnings. That's the first time they came out together. New beginnings and new opportunity. This is, op you got space and opportunity. Some of y'all, if you had to start all over, you're starting from scratch. That is perfect time for you to rewrite your story. This is the perfect time for you to be like, okay, now some of y'all, you left people behind and you're in a new environment, a new situation, a new job. This is your perfect time. And I have to keep using Megan and study because sometimes she'd be hitting on some shit. She's also a fellow Aquarian. She said that she, when she got to college, nobody knew her from her childhood as Megan Thee Stallion. But when she got to college, that's when she became Megan the Rapper, Megan Thee Stallion, <laughs> okay? And after that, she created her identity from there and went with it. You know, and they supported her, okay? Some of y'all, that's just what it have to be. It may not be from your family friends. It may not be from your people from the past. It may not be from your family. But you have the op space and opportunity to change your identity, to change your life story, to make yourself. You don't have to be resonant. I always tell people, I hate, I, do not connect with people off of trauma because that's how you create trauma bonds. You don't have to meet a person and say, yeah, hey, I'm the person who, you know, oh, you, 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 you and your mom, you don't have your mom in your life or you don't have that in your life. Oh, we, we're going to be the best of friends because we have that in common. No, you want to be an artist too. I'm an artist too. Great. Like we have that in common. That is something to freaking co connect on. Not trauma. Don't connect with trauma. Connect with goals. Okay. Inspirations. All right. Or was it aspirations? Whatever. Y'all know I'm still learning. But connect on that level. Don't try my bond. Okay? Meet people who gonna bring the best versions out of you. Not gonna pull a side out of you where you crying over spilled milk. Okay? You get what I'm saying. Yeah, reputation. You guys are building a reputation. Like I said, make your own identity. Meet people. Collaborate with people off of 
this new reputation, this new you. You are protected. Yeah, your past loved one is coming through. What about this past loved one, Holy Spirit? Home record energy. What's this? Excuse me. Be a, being accountable. Excuse me. What about this? Stolen identity. Some of y'all, you got somebody around you who's trying to be you. Um, you got a home record vibe. I don't know if this is a friend, a family member, or, or a random person around you who keeps trying to. You need to hold this person accountable because they keep trying to like steal your identity. Let me get one more on this person, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this person is always trying to seek some sort of validation. They're probably going to try to use you to like make you to laugh or so. Yeah, this could even be about love. You got somebody uh, competing with you. Trying to like steal your identity or steal your essence. That could be what the empress is in reverse. Somebody watching you. Trying to be like you or copy you in some sort of way. Your guides are warning you about this person. Yeah, I can't make this readings up. They're envious, showing you fake love, copying you out for themselves. Yeah, some, somebody's copying you. Why are they being warned about this person, Holy Spirit? We have a deadbeat parent. Oh, yeah. Some of y'all, you could be dealing with a deadbeat parent. Um, yeah, inheritance. Yeah, they could be a thief. So just be careful. Yeah, tell this person no. Don't settle. Rejection protection. You are being set up for greatness. Be careful. If somebody trying to get close to you, you're going to know because they could be a neglectful parent. I'm not going to lie. Um, and this person could be always trying to seek validation. Maybe they're trying to get money. I don't know if you feel bad for this person, but they could be a thief. Yep, they're looking for a way out. Okay, they could be just looking for a come up. Yeah, we have a death. What is this? A sibling, poverty, homelessness, and we have communication. Some of y'all, this could be a sibling. I always get that in our readings. Uh, this could be a sibling and we have a death. This person could be going through some major changes. Or you're going to get communication that this person could have like lost their house or their car or they're going through custody issues or something. Yeah, that's too much. What about this setup over here with this person? What's this Holy Spirit? Addictions. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all be careful because you could be dealing with somebody. I don't know if you're dealing with people who have addictions, Aquarius. They will steal from you. So please don't be acting green. I know you're nice. So you got a big heart, but don't be acting green around people. They will steal from you. Okay? Especially if you know they got addictions. It doesn't matter if you have if this your family, friend, a cousin, or this somebody who could just be around you who seem cool, they seem nice, but they could have like a hidden addiction. Yeah, they are steal from you. Okay. Type of people, yeah, this could be a neighbor, okay? So just know, maybe you have new income. Like I said, don't be acting green. I don't know what environment that y'all in, but you could be dealing with people who will rob you. So um, if you know that you got some success coming in or money coming in or they know, or hopefully if they don't, uh, keep it to yourself. Um, I'm getting, you can tell people no, okay? Because these are the type of people who will be cool with you, cordial with you, let, until you let them in your house or let them around your home and they be looking and being nosy and then boom, you have a break in or something like that because somebody didn't try to steal from you. Yep, trust your intuition. If you feel like you can't trust somebody or something is off, yeah. Have people that will steal your credit card. I mean, I can't make these readings up. You are so close to accomplishing a goal. I'm telling y'all, you, you're close. Keep going. You are powerful more than you know. Don't give it away. That's what I'm getting. Don't give your power away. That's that backslide. And I feel like it's okay to make mistakes, but don't 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 allow people to make try to say like, oh, it's cool, it's cool. You hanging around me? I ain't gonna judge you. Yes, they is. They will. They have, and they are. Don't let nobody tell you they're not gonna judge you, Aquarius. They are. They will, and they have. They're waiting for you to fuck up so they can say, look, I told you so. You're a hypocrite. Nah. Anybody telling you to go against your morals or your values, they're a liar. They're going to judge you. Aging is beautiful. That's what I'm getting. It's just time to make better choices. Slow down. That's what I'm getting. Analyze. Look at your life, Aquarius. Realize how far you came. It doesn't matter how old you are. Aging is beautiful. The great, the great thing about age is wisdom. 
Time to make better choices. Slow down. Analyze things. <laughs> you give your power away when you react. Remember who you was before the pain. People want to pull a side out of you that you've grown from. Don't let nobody take you out of your character. You need to remember who you were before the pain. Somebody tried to hurt you. People will intentionally hurt you, Aquarius, to trigger you. To trigger you to overindulge. To trigger you to, to, to fall back into some sort of addiction. There's people who would, who would try to... Some of y'all, you may have emotions. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Some of y'all, you may deal with childhood wounds that you're still healing. So say somebody tell you, man, you ain't never cared about me. You ain't never loved me. You ain't never gave a fuck about me. The fact that you pulling away from me. The fact that you stopped dealing with me. You ain't never cared. That's messed up. You cold. And then you start going back into a place where you could have dealt with somebody in your childhood or a family member, or whatever the case is, who always said that you were not good enough or you were wrong because you didn't validate their emotions or you didn't meet some sort of expectation. That could go back to childhood to where you didn't meet expectations of a parent or somebody in your life. And because of that, they could have, you know, made you feel really low about yourself because you didn't get straight A's in school. That shit go back to childhood, y'all. And y'all wonder why y'all willing to deal with people, even if you know it's plain disrespect, because they know how to manipulate you into feeling like you owe them something. And you don't. You didn't owe that parent anything. Y'all got people in today who have parents who believe that because they raised them, that they owe their life to them. You're not God. I don't owe you anything. You brought me into this life. If anything, you owe me. No, I'm just like... <laughs> y'all just playing we don't owe anybody anything okay we owe it to ourselves to be the best version of ourselves okay i was just being funny yeah we got <laughs> we got asked for help okay we got asked for help but yeah some of y'all ask for help if you don't know something it ain't no, it ain't never a dumb question don't be too prideful ask for help get help use your resources it's there for a reason Yep, but take the higher road. Take the higher road. You guys are taking the higher road. I'm also getting well. You're taking a rough path. You know, it's people. People, you you are at a part in your life where this is where people probably turn back. They're like shit, but y'all have came too far. You are so close to accomplishing a goal. Don't you turn back. Keep going. Your past don't dictate your future. Don't let nobody tell you that. Time for a checkup. Some of y'all was getting that. Because I was getting something about health. So definitely if it's time for a checkup, get a checkup. Okay. Learn to commit. I knew that was going to come out. Learn to commit. Keep going. Like they say, you can, you can always start. But sometimes you don't have to keep starting over. Sometimes you can start. And when you have to start over, keep going. But this time, follow it all the way through. You guys have a lot of unfinished projects. Follow this thing that you're doing through you're never too old to live a new dream i was trying to make this video short and it still was long i'm over it you're never too old to live a new dream i, I got oh i got age here twice so some of you guys you're allowing your age to limit you you're never too old to live a new dream some of y'all if, if that old dream is gone and it's gone away it's time the new dream somebody here likes to uh Somebody has a sewing machine or something they didn't use yet or they're waiting and sitting in their closet collecting dust. We have, I know that all the wisdom I need to make the right decision lies within me. I am intuitive. Yeah, you got, you, you know what you need to do. Your, your guides, you have, I feel like as well, your inner self is, is trying to pull out some sort of creativity in you, but you need to be sitting in some sort of silence. That's what I'm getting. You guys need to meditate or something. Meditate more or allow yourself. What I was just cleaning the house, just vacuuming, and it was just, you know, just cleaning. And it, I just listened to my thoughts and things started coming to me. So some of y'all, you know, I don't know how it works for you, but a lot of things just come when I'm just in my moment, like in my, but I've been meditating a lot more and that shit works. Like it's crazy because I always hear people say meditate and I've been meditating a lot more. And I ain't gonna lie, one time I just broke down crying because I didn't know I was feeling certain emotions until I sat there and just sat in silence and I literally just broke down crying because I needed to feel that because I didn't allow myself to feel it and when I did I felt so much better so meditation really does work you guys it really does work okay 
it really does work you know <sighs> wow I know that pure joy is the result of being in alignment with my soul. I am my true self. That's what I'm getting. You are your true self. You have found your identity. Okay? So you don't have to mold or adapt to other environments. You can be yourself no matter where you are or who you are around. If you feel like you can't be yourself when you're around certain people, those are not your people. Because people who love you really are going to allow you to be your true self. Okay? Look, I know that each breath confirms that I am alive and far from finished. I am just getting started. That's what I'm getting. Some of y'all, it's that age that don't put them age limitations on yourself. You are still alive, okay, and far from finished. Your life is not over yet. That's why you wake up every day. It says, I am just getting started. One more, Holy Spirit. Every time I say one more, spirit bring more to one. I know that a simple shift in perspective can change my reality. I am choosing joy. Gotta choose happiness. Excuse me. I know that my deepest desires are the pathway towards my dreams. I am going where it feels right. You are going where it feels right. Take what resonates. Like the video for resonate. Comment down below if you felt the vibe. Subscribe. Peace.